Actress Kate Bosworth has lived in a few impressive homes over the span of her career. There's her starter home, which she bought in Los Angeles that spanned 3,000 square feet and she lived in for a decade, then a farm in Montana she moved to once she was married, and currently her current estate in LA. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. American actress and model Kate Bosworth is probably best known for her roles in films like The Horse Whisperer, Superman Returns, and 21. Throughout the early 2000s, Kate would transform herself into one of Hollywood's most in-demand actresses after moving to LA in 2001 to pursue an acting career full-time. By the following year, she was already booking the lead role in Blue Crush. Can I trust you? To do what? Despite being shot on a small budget, this film would go on to gross over $40 million at the box office and put Kate on the path to superstardom. From that point on, she would book regular gigs and earn herself a net worth estimated to be in the range of $12 million. Shortly after making a splash in Blue Crush, Kate would take some of that hard-earned money and spend it on her very first home in Los Angeles, California, a nearly 3,000 square foot house located in Nichols Canyon. But at the same time, the happy couple also secured them themselves a mid-century home in Los Angeles. However, these days, the once married couple has now called it quits. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at the homes of Kate Bosworth. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2005, Kate Bosworth purchased herself a gated and private hillside property high up in the Nichols Canyon area of Hollywood for a reported $2.1 million. The two-story house was originally built in 1955 and boasts three bedrooms as well as two and a half baths in a modest, but certainly not small, 2,890 square feet of space. A blacked out gate on a winding street near the top of Runyon Canyon kinda gives away the secret that behind all of that iron is a cylinder. Celebrity home. But once that gate swings open, it reveals a concrete driveway that dips down to a compact motor court with a front facing two car garage. Then there's a brick courtyard that leads around to the front door of the home. Once inside, a small entryway leads into an open plan living space that's centered around a white painted brick fireplace. Chocolate toned hardwood floors run throughout the rooms of this urban loft style space, including a small sitting area that boasts a vaulted ceiling over top of the fireplace. Tucked off to the side is a TV room with some interesting yellow and crimson floral wallpaper that somehow manages to work. Beyond the living room, there's an airy dining space done up in such a way that it probably works for both easygoing breakfasts as well as any dressed up dinners. Up top, a glimmering antique chandelier hangs above an all black dining room set with leopard print cushions. Not far from there is the kitchen, which honestly might be the most impressive room in the house. There's this steeply pitched ceiling and all white everything, including two farmhouse sinks, an expensive looking buff tone countertop, and a full suite of top quality stainless steel appliances. Also located on the main floor are the home's two guest bedrooms, one of which was made up into a den slash office for Kate, while the other is a large room that boasts two sets of multi-paned French doors, one of which opens up to a well-hidden lap lane swimming pool. These bedrooms both share a limestone floored bathroom that's both spacious and well equipped. And for the master suite, it takes up the entire upper floor. It's decked out with wood flooring and skylights and it boasts its own seating area as well as a private terrace that's been nestled into the surrounding treetops. Then there's also two walk-in closets in an all-white bathroom with a marble top double vanity, a tiled steam shower with a built-in bench, lots of high windows, and a semi-private cubby for the toilet. In addition to the entry courtyard and the side yard lap lane swimming pool, the exterior of this home also features some decks and brick terraces that run along the back of the house. Considering how nice this place is, is it any surprise to learn that Kate spent close to 10 years living here? But after meeting the man who would then come to be her husband, Michael Polish, Kate would decide to list this home in 2014 for just over $2.3 million. Who ended up buying it? 
well, none other than Vince Vaughn. As for Kate, well, she and her new hubby would pack up their belongings and head off for the state of Montana. After successfully selling her first LA home, Kate moved into a ranch that her husband picked up a few years earlier in 2009 for 555k. To be honest, other than the fact that it's believed to be located somewhere around Big Fork, Montana, there isn't much info about this home. What we do know is that Kate and Michael were married somewhere nearby in an extravagant ceremony put together by Martha Stewart. During a ceremony that took place on a mountaintop at an authentic 19th century era homestead known as the Ranch at Rock Creek, lush hay meadows and rolling foothills provided the backdrop for Kate's big day. According to reports, the newlyweds had settled on this venue due to its romantic setting, privacy, and its rustic old school charm. There, surrounded by nearly 100 of her closest friends and family, Kate celebrated by wearing two custom Oscar de la Renta dresses. This included a strapless ivory gown with a sweeping 8 foot long, 16 foot wide train for the ceremony. After the ceremony, the wedding party made its way down from the mountain top to the Granite Lodge where they dined on local cuisine. The festivities would carry on after dinner and well into the night with dancing in the historic Silver Dollar Saloon and a long night of partying. While she and Michael would live in Montana for the next few years, they were only doing that while their new home in Los Angeles was being prepared for them. Shortly after selling her original Los Angeles home in 2014, Kate and Michael also bought another mid-century LA home. Much like their former residence in Montana, Kate and Michael kept the location and details of their new home on the down low. In fact, all we know for sure are a few random details. For one thing, it was built in 1955 because Kate has something of an obsession for mid-century design. Speaking about this home with Architectural Digest, she would tell them, I love mid-century design. Michael and I are both very responsive to clean design and mid-century lends itself so well to that. The other thing we know about this place? After buying it in 2014, Kate and Michael would spend the next three years getting the property entirely rebuilt from the ground up, including the addition of a guest house and a pool house. During the renovation process, Kate says that she and Michael chose two materials to use throughout the entire home, terrazzo and teakwood. This helped to maintain the mid-century vibe. In fact, rather than hire a designer to help them out, Kate says the couple took on those renovations completely on their own. Telling Architectural Digest, I did it all myself, Michael as well. We didn't have a designer. We were literally figuring out where the breaks in the terrazzo would meet up with the doors closing. Around 2018, the couple's new family home was finally complete. Soon after, Kate would discover a surprising house guest had moved into their brand new pool. Shortly after she got rid of the bear, Kate would also get rid of her hubby. In early 2021, Kate and Michael split from one another. Afterwards, Kate would go on to shoot an upcoming horror film titled House of Darkness, where she would meet fellow actor Justin Long. Soon after, these two would begin dating and they're now reportedly living with one another. While it's unclear exactly where these two are spending their time together, I find it kind of hard to believe that Kate would go through all that hard work of completely renovating a home from the ground up, only to then not spend any time there. So my best guess is that she and Justin are shacking up in her mid-century house. All right guys, that'll bring this Kate Bosworth house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought about her former homes, especially anything that might have surprised you. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.